Today on Hope Help Heal's Tour of Giving, people pursuing their passions for a positive purpose. Cards for a cause, now that's something to bark about. Next, we'll look at two interior designers whose cause is to make sure that people dwell well. Um, dwell with Dignity got started when I was um, entering back into my work. Um, and I wanted to do something with interior design because that's my passion. But I wanted to, in some way, give back to the community. And at first I thought, how am I going to do that? Because really what I do, I serve a privileged client. But the more I started thinking about it, the more I thought, I, I think I can make this happen. So as I started talking to my interior design um, friends and associates, I, I saw that in the creative field, there are so many people who do want to give back. They just didn't really know there's an opportunity to do so. But the more I talked to people about it, the more excited they got, and they wanted to become involved. They wanted to help me with it. And it's amazing, just from my, my friends in the local community to the creative fields and all the designers and the showrooms, everybody wants to be a part of it. It really has been amazing. Dwell with Dignity is a wonderful organization made up of volunteers and people in our community from um, creative designers to just everyday people who have decided they want to give back. And right now we're working for um, a housing coalition here in Dallas. And they provide apartments for people who are trying, who are struggling against homelessness. So when they come to these apartments or these homes, they really don't have anything. They have no beds, they have no, um, nowhere to sleep. And so we come in and we completely furnish, we create their environment, and because we're designers, um, we're able to really put it together in such a wonderful way to inspire these people with design and to empower them and make them know that they have a home and they're valued. So it's absolutely a very rewarding experience, I think, for all of us involved. And we're able to get donations from the community, donations from um, organizations, and from retailers, from showrooms. We've had wonderful um, donations from uh, workrooms who have given us fabric, others who have given us furniture, and then we have other volunteers who put it all together, who reupholster things for us and refurnish things. Uh, we've had uh, my 11-year-old daughter and her girlfriends have done a great job putting things together for us. I think the vision um, for Dwell with Dignity is to inspire um, lives with design and inspire these families to take that next step and know that they can, um, they can make it. We're used to um, going out and finding this fabulous piece that we're going to use that will inspire our um, room and uh, the choices are simple that way. But here it's so much more challenging and creative and it's very fun to do. We usually start with something that's been donated or something that we found maybe in a resale shop. And because we've been so fortunate enough to get donations from uh, work rooms and uh, fabric houses, we we're able to uh, start with a fabric from there and then pull all of the resources that we have in order to make a, to start a room. The people who come together to make it all happen, I, I, never, I never thought I would um, get so much of a reward from just the synergy of all of these people working together for one goal. That's an amazing part of Dwell with Dignity. 
I think the final outcome is that you are inspiring lives with design. And I think that the positive change that can come from that, there's, you can feel it when you walk into a place like that. You can feel it when you meet the residents, just how they feel like they're at home. And I don't think there's anything more rewarding than that. It's been one week since I was here helping with Well With Dignity. I can't wait to see the final product. Oh my gosh, this looks amazing. I can't believe this is the same place. It's been so much fun, it's amazing. It really truly is. Now it's not quite done yet. We still have some things to hang up. We're still working on last minute touches, but for the most part, here we are. Anybody out there that thinks that perhaps they don't have enough time to give back, they're busy. Everybody's busy. And they can always give back financially if they really, truly don't have time. But we just encourage people to, to come out to one of our events or come help us with one of our apartments because it would be time so well spent. If they honestly don't have time, they can donate money. They can send us a Target gift card. They can, you know, there, there's many, many ways they can help. But it's just such a fun group and there's just such good positive energy. I think it will um, make a difference. It'll make a difference in their life. It has in mind. Lisa, thank you so much for letting us be a part of just this amazing project and truly using your passion to make a difference in the environments of others. Thank you. Oh.